Well, Senate Democrats are divided when it comes to Jeff Sessions. Some want him to come back and answer more questions on Russia. Others just want him to resign. Delaware Democrat Chris Coons is one of the senators asking for more testimony from his former colleague. Senator, welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, what can he say when he comes back to explain uh, how he answered those questions the first time around? Well, Andrea, if you just watch uh, a section of that uh, confirmation hearing, uh, it really seems uh, that Senator Sessions, now Attorney General Sessions, uh, lied to the Senate, lied to the Judiciary Committee uh, when he did not answer truthfully and fully um, the questions asked of him by Senator Franken about whether he had had contact uh, with senior Russian officials. Um, but Senator Sessions, now Attorney General Sessions, has tried to explain that uh, in context. Uh, I frankly think um, it would strengthen his case and it would strengthen public confidence in his service as Attorney General uh, if he would not rely on brief written further responses to the committee, but instead come back and under oath answer questions more fully. Has he given the committee any indication of whether he will do that? Um, I don't know. That's uh, obviously in the hands of the committee chair and ranking member. Um, but I think it is an important way for the Judiciary Committee to contribute uh, to public confidence. Look, this is the most important national security uh, and democratic policy issue we have, is whether or not the investigation into the Russian assault on our last election will be conducted fairly and thoroughly. If there are allegations that it's being stonewalled, that there's a cover-up, um, that will linger for years. Um, if it is thoroughly and fully investigated uh, and the conclusion is reached that there wasn't collusion between the Trump campaign at the highest levels and Russian intelligence, then that'll resolve the issue. But if we don't have a, f a fair and thorough and open investigation of this, um, I think we are failing to defend our democracy. And the best way to give people the confidence that Attorney General Sessions is in fact going to recuse himself of effectively and was um, not misleading uh, the committee intentionally is to have him answer questions and not just one or two questions in writing, but to thoroughly answer questions from the Judiciary Committee. Uh, one of your House colleagues, Adam Schiff, who is ranking on intelligence, uh, complaining and saying that they are not getting even a fraction of what they need to know from the FBI director after a three hour private uh, session with them and on the House side yesterday. Is the FBI director uh, being forthcoming enough with the intelligence committees or is it more important for him to keep his counterintelligence investigation secret even from Congress? Well, I think it's important that the outcome of that counterintelligence investigation be fully shared with the intelligence committees, both in the House and the Senate. Um, there are transcripts that uh, provide very helpful, very critical insights uh, into whether or not Russian intelligence and senior Russian political leaders, including Vladimir Putin, um, were cooperating, were colluding uh, with the Trump campaign at the highest levels to influence the outcome of our election. And if that information is stonewalled or hidden away, uh, and if we are not able to get that, on the Senate Intelligence Committee, House Intelligence Committee, then I think that has real consequences for our democracy. Um, so I would urge the FBI director uh, to make sure that the counterintelligence investigation is completed, is taken to its uh, furthest conclusion, and then all the products of that investigation are appropriately shared with the intelligence committees. And let me just clear up very briefly, uh, does, do such transcripts exist? Is that what you're saying? I have not seen them. I believe they exist. Wow, that's news. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Senator Coons. And much more ahead on Andrea Mitchell Reports. We'll be right back.